Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me on. Actually, what I wanted to do was a student and I did this deal together. And the reason we show this is not to impress you, but to impress upon you that there's a lot of deals happening. Ask any of the people that fund deals locally, the hard money guys. They're doing two, three deals a month. They wouldn't do them if it didn't meet their criteria. So somebody in this county is making money every day. And you guys need to get on board. It should be you. This was just a really quick um, fix and flip. How many of you were here in February when I did the um, making money without using your own money? This is a classic example. A student was actually here in the room and took action. And this was their deal. I JV'd with them, joint ventured, and helped them through it. So these numbers, it's very possible they did this deal with no money. Uh, it was just a regular track house in Lake Elsinore. And all, they called me and said, hey, I want to do some, some deals. I want to do a short-term flip. What should I do right now? And I said, well, if I were you, forget Dario's. They've dried up. That, that trade is over. Unless you want to look like rich, don't do short sales. You know, look at the hairdo there and here. You can tell who does short sales. So that's not where it's at. Right? I would just start calling for sale by owners. And so he did. He got on and started calling them. And I said, when you get a potential deal motivated person, let me know and I'll get involved at that point. You start the dialogue and I give them the script on what to say and then when you have someone that says, yeah, I'm kind of interested, let me know and I'll get involved. So he found somebody that was fairly motivated, he thought, based on what I had laid out for him. Here's the questions you ask, here's how you phrase it, here's the answers we're looking for. Pretty straightforward. And so this person met that criteria and said, well, tell them that your partner is going to call them and ask a few more questions. So then I jumped on. He found it. I got involved. Why we picked this property was it had all the right things wrong with it. There were several elements that led to a good deal. Uh, it was for sale by owner. He didn't know how to market. It was not on the MLS. He didn't do any repairs to the house, even though it didn't need much, as simple as uh, shampooing the carpets, touching up the paint. So it didn't show up. So it was a good storm in the making. And the area we weren't that big on, Lake Elsinore, but you know, at the right price, I'm big on anything. It doesn't <laughs> matter to me, they're all houses. But we knew it was a soft market in Elsinore, one of the harder hit areas, we know that. But you know, at the right number, somebody will buy it, or it'll make a great rental. Um, we were looking for this house because it was a light fix. We didn't want to do a hard fixer in a declining market in a tough area. So this fit that criteria. Our exit was really simple. We were going to fix it as fast as we could, put it right back on, market it better, put it on the multiple listing service, and sell it. And worst day ever, we would keep it as a rental, but we're not renter or cold kind of people. That's you know the longer way to wealth. Um, so let me get into it. The guy had it listed. He was asking for sale by owner $150,000. And when I got to talking to him on the phone, he said, but I take one thirty. dollars Oh, tell me more. <laughs> you know, I'm all ears. At this point, I'm doodling and you know reading emails. And pretty soon he goes, well, 120 if I could do it fast. OK, so he's really negotiating against himself. Make sure you never do that, right? <laughs> yeah, 150 ended up at 120. Um, I'll show you the contract. This was not listed. So there was no real reason to use a 13-page car contract. That's just going to scare a civilian, right? He's not a realtor. He's not represented. So we used a first Tuesday, which I'll show you a copy of, very simple two-page contract. Um, you don't need a lot of clauses. You don't need a bunch of, you know, subject to this, partner's inspection. If it's a good deal, you only need one thing. Either you like it or you don't, based on your inspections, right? So it was a real clean offer. I'll show you a copy of it. But the negotiating was just basically, you know, knowing how to negotiate on the phone with somebody. And if I ever do a negotiating class, you guys should take it thousands of dollars for that. You will make more money per minute negotiating than anything else you could do. Basically, he was motivated. He had a free clear house, got divorced recently, needed to pay his ex off, borrowed $100,000, and just wanted to retire that debt to family members. So his magic number was 100 grand. So guess what we bought the house for? Exactly. It's not that hard. Uh, the financing was really easy. 
we just bought. We didn't have to get a loan. We didn't have to use one of those brutal hard money guys. We just got our checkbook out. We used a Roth so that we have a lower tax profile. So it's just a classic, you know, flip. Um, the issues basically were that I'm going to show you in the pictures. This is the gentleman's actual flyer. This is a for sale by owner. And you can see right there, it's not that great a flyer. He didn't have my logo on there. But um, first clue is that, or trade, or gold coins. <laughs> I know gold's doing really well, but you know, that's, that's a person that's not conventionally marketing this property. <laughs> um, the inside, you notice um, there's stains, carpet stains, and it's kind of hard to tell, but visualize that. Um, the paint job's rough. They went crazy with the colors. Every room is like really bright and dark. And they never bothered to make it standard that other consumers would want to live in. Those are his colors, not other people's. So that told me that this was a good one. He's not going to sell it. The contract we use is really simple. It's a first Tuesday. It's two pages. Uh, very straightforward. Our cash offer, $100,000. We put $1,000 in escrow. And I think we took a fairly short escrow. Uh, he wanted a check by Friday. That's how we got to the 100. I'm talking to him, and he said 120, and pretty soon he's like, well, if you can get 100 by Friday, does that work? We'll retire your debt, and we're done, and you can get on with your life, and we'll take it just as is. You don't have to do anything. And that worked for him. This is the before pictures. You saw them earlier. It's just a basic track house, built in 06. It's a big box, two-story, five-bedroom house. What's interesting is I'm not an expert on the elsewhere market, but here's, here's a tip for you. I called somebody that flips a lot of houses in Elsinore that I respect, and I said, hey, what would you pay for this house? I gave him an actual address. And he said, I really wouldn't want to get in Elsinore right now, but if I had to, I would take it at 85000 So I knew that that was kind of the bottom end of it. That's a good reality check, to call somebody that's active and find out what they buy it from you at. I thought he was wrong because it's too much house, dollars per square foot at 85000 I thought he was a little light. So I did my own research, and I'm glad I did. I bought it for 100 And I'll show you how it worked out. This is not very exciting for rehab. <coughs> Basically, he was selling it with the dead front lawn. That's exactly how it looked the day we got it with a little small for sale by owner sign. Um, side yard was dead. Backyard, he had a big Rottweiler, so it didn't look that great. And like I said, he got crazy with the paint. That's how he actually had it for sale. Carpets were dirty. So all we did is put in a new lawn in the front, soldered the whole thing over. Amazing thing, sprinkler system was already there from the building. So it made our job really easy. That's like a $400 job. We left the backyard alone. I gave him a landscape credit. I didn't want to deal with it. Numbers real simple. We actually put it right back on the MLS like a week later. We had four offers. We listed it at 169. I thought that was the upper end of value. And I got four offers at 170 or better. That told me that, that whole, the wholesaler guy was wrong. I thought he was wrong. I put my money on that. Um, I learned something. It's a hot market here. Someone bought it for 170 off cash because they're keeping it for a rental. Uh, we bought it for 100. We had some closing costs when we bought it. We did about $3,800 in repairs, which was paint some yard work and a landscape credit for the back. So very light, not much fixing at all. A little bit on the utilities and then commissions on the resale. We netted about $53,000. Not bad, huh? Yeah. In like a 28-day period. Yeah, 600 something very good. That's exactly right. Um, uh, how long did it take to find a buyer? We used the MLS. We listed it. We had three offers within like a week and a half. And then we were kind of reviewing them, and the fourth one came in all cash. We threw the other three away, of course, <coughs> went with the all cash. Uh, we straight up off the MLS, didn't do anything else. Um, rentals, like I said, this is a strict flip deal. How many years would it take to make the 53 grand as a rental net? You know, it'll be a lifetime. Um, so we were, but we knew as a backup, the house would rent for probably 1,800 bucks a month, maybe 2,000 for the five bedroom. So that was the worst day ever backup plan, and you should always have one. Um, as far as I just showed you what the numbers were, we flipped. We, we're not interested in long-term holdings too early, in my opinion. 
And whenever we talk about a deal, a lot of the guys will show you deals and talk about it, but they're talking about the gross numbers. They're the ones that are selling the $20,000 coaching program. They don't net much at all, if anything. They sometimes write a check just to tell you they did a deal. There's an actual check from escrow. We had 100 out, 164.4 came back in. Not bad. We JV'd with the student. They had no money in it. They had a little bit of work to go meet with them and get the keys and to meet with the landscape guy to put the lawn in. But they netted 26.5 for making some phone calls. Not bad, huh? Could you dial for dollars in an hour or two? Yeah. Well, these are the places you learn this stuff. Start attending. There's some great clubs. This one, Bill Towns Club, uh, our club. Start attending. This is where we teach you how to do this stuff. Come early. Like I noticed, a lot of you are taking advantage now. You're coming to network. There's more talent there than up here usually. So start getting to know each other. I have listed the eight most popular sites publishing to determine where for sale by owners how to call them. I have the actual links for you. If you want them, all you gotta do is go down there to my website and download on their logo and it's the REI. It'll give you a list of the best eight sites and you can start doing your own searches. Whatever area you want to work, just do a search and they'll list all the for sale by owners. They update it hourly. Start doing this. This is not hard. You can do this. My sites be the smart investor and just click on the NST button and you'll get it. Well, like I said, we don't hide anything. We'll tell you where we found this deal, right down to the T. Uh